Hey everyone, Mark Hart here, and we just got an appraisal that came in over $13,000 low. Let's dive in. All right, guys, so this appraisal that just came in over $13,000 low, actually $13,400 low, is absolutely pathetic. It's embarrassing, and it's actually really shocking that it would come in that low. Uh, this property here was on the north side of town in Fraser, three bedroom, one bath, and under a thousand square feet. Now, as you may know, an appraisal is just one man's opinion of value. And this is what's really frustrating for maybe the current investors, lenders, or experienced investors in the industry is that you can get one house and have five different appraisals and you'll get five different values. Now, when this appraisal came in at $13,400 low, we were absolutely shocked. It was the lowest we've ever had here at MIP. When something this low happens, we can't sell at that appraisal price, right? We'll lose money, uh, it just won't work out. So we had to cancel the transaction. We, after rerunning the comps, we knew that we were correct at the original sales price because we had invalidated actual comparable sales. So we knew that we were confident that we could resell the property, get a new appraisal, and that it would come in at value. And that's exactly what just happened. We just got the new second appraisal and it came in high. It came in over value, $100. And that's exactly what should have happened the first time because there were valid comparable sales that supported our sales price, right? That's how we set a sales price. We're gonna look at <clears throat> other comparable properties that are in similar condition, similar square footage, similar bedroom, bathroom, similar uh, parking, <clears throat> also within a, a certain vicinity of the subject property. And unfortunately, statistically speaking, 10% of all of our sales come in low, but normally it's just a few thousand dollars. Uh, this 13,000 is just absolutely mind blowing and that's why I wanted to film a video on it for, it, for you guys. Now, the other 10% of the time, our appraisals will come in exactly at value to right on the sales price. <clears throat> then the other 80% of the time, our appraisals will actually come in high over sales price. And that difference is gonna be free equity that we're gonna let you guys keep, right? If the appraisal comes in over sales price, we're not gonna raise the sales price to match the appraisal. We're gonna keep it at the original sales price and that spread is basically an increase in your net worth and is the best case scenario. <clears throat> so in this instance, in this situation, it's just absolutely shocking and mind blowing how you can go from 13,400 low to 100 high, all on the same price. The only thing that changed was the actual appraisal. It's a real pain point. Uh, and unfortunately for a company like ourselves, uh, we just have to basically sit back and see what the appraisal values come in at. Uh, so if this ever does happen to you guys and you will get a low appraisal, we actually have a new process moving forward to make things really easy. This new low appraisal process means that the most you could ever pay over appraisal value is $3,000. All right, what this means is, let's say the home is for sale for $100,000 and it appraises for $98,000, so $2,000 low. Well, in that instance, we're gonna keep the sales price the same. You're gonna pay the difference from $98,000 to $100,000, so you're gonna, pay that, you're basically gonna bring an additional $2,000 to closing. Now let's say the same house we sell for 100 grand, appraises for $97,000. Well, the most you could ever pay, uh, but not exceeding the sales price is 3,000. Uh, so in this instance, we're gonna keep the sales price the same, and you'll just be needing to bring an additional 3,000 to closing. But now, let's say the appraisal comes in $5,000 low. Once again, the most you could ever pay is 3,000 over. 
So what that means is we're gonna lower the price two grand and have you pay three grand over the sales price. So this is what we do moving forward just to make sure that everything goes smoothly. Um, if, this, if you are a part of that 10%, you know, it is very rare that it happens, um, but actually in an instance where we lower the sales price a little bit, if you put that on a pro forma and actually look at the cash on cash return, um, it actually helps um, because your mortgage is now going to be less, um, even though you'll be paying more. Uh, so uh, hope you guys enjoyed that video. We were ultimately and utterly shocked with the difference. And um, it's, we're very blessed that the second investor was able to you know, get the property with $100 in equity. Thanks, guys.